the starting three corners who are on this team for this year, none of them played 16 games last year. So you can't expect that from them. And, and then with all of Jason Verrett's injury history, like we'd be lucky to get a full season out of him in my mind. If we do get anything from him, I think it's gravy. Um, but you know so- who else is betting that he's going to have a full healthy season this year? Him. He only signed a one-year yeah, deal. He I wasn't he pushing did. for that long, long-term long contract either. So he understands if he doesn't stay healthy – He's not going to get a big contract next season either. So all of these guys are on, you know, one-year deals betting on themselves to stay healthy. And then on top of that, a lot of cornerbacks are on in the last year of their deal or on one-year deal. So next year is going to be uh, ripe for the pickings as far as corners. <laughs> Man, again, it, it, isn't that what again. the 49ers say almost every offseason? It's like, oh, we'll get corner and we'll get corner down the line. We'll get corner next year. I mean, I remember in, in last year's draft, people were frustrated afterwards and they're like, oh, they'll figure it out next season when they took a guy with a hundred and second pick. Like, I just don't I think, think they figured can- it out. I think Ambry Thomas is going to be really, really good, man. And oh, I, I, man. and I, once again, people are not uh, realizing how this draft was so different from other drafts. <laughs> no, you um, know what? You're, you're, you're right because, in this aspect because, because, because I I think you – know, and I, I kind of – you know what? You go for this because I – No, I, I was just going to say Ambry missed all last season Thank because you. he held yeah, out, right? Yeah. But if he played, he would have been a top – either a first or second round pick. So we got – of just depth we got steals um, as far as with ambry um with lenore who i think wouldn't have been you know uh much higher maybe like a third or a fourth round that we picked right. up in the fifth you know but ambry definitely would have been a first or a second round pick playing in the big 10 um you know all eyes on him with the type of production that he was already playing with all that and another thing is he played a lot of games in college even though he missed the whole year he started all three years he did play and was healthy so I think that's another like great quality in a cornerback. He's he's mean. He loves um, playing physical, and especially with the receivers that we have to go against in the NFC West. I think he's prime, and to be able to sit behind a Verrett and a Mosley, I think he's going to learn a lot. And when if he does have to play, I think he's going to jump in and play really well. Oh, you see that that I, that's just that's that's where you you pushed a little too far over the line for me, Sunil. But you've not seen anything to think otherwise. It's just you feeling like he's not going to be able to do it. It's not because you've seen him be uh, right. exposed or anything like that. It's just like I said, it's just the pessimism because you've never seen him. You you think the worst instead of thinking, dang, he could be a, a, a steal just like Mosley was. Nobody thought Mosley was going to be a starter. He was an no, undrafted no. rookie, and yeah. he ended up being a starter immediately when he started playing. I just think with corner in particular, his, I mean, especially in the last five years, teams just been, haven't had any success outside the top 40 picks at that position. Well, we so are I, one of our starters is Emmanuel Mosley, and he wasn't even I drafted. Know. So. No, I, I, I know. You're <laughs> right. You're right in that sense. But I, I just I just don't. Oh, gosh. I, I just. I really it's okay. Struggle. It's okay. We'll. I'll let you. I'll. I'll give you a hug. We'll walk you through this. But once you see Ambry out there balling, just remember this conversation. Oh, now you see, this isn't how I see things going down. I, I, I think one of those, honestly, no, if I'm being honest right now, I think one of those two starters at some point is going to get hurt. And I think it could just completely derail the season for this team. That's, I mean, I, I'm, I'm being, I, I try and be an optimist, Sunil, but I really think that's probably the weakest position.